Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at Chapter 4 Correlation Part 1. I'll be summarizing all the key facts in Chapter 4 Correlation. Let's get started. Ladies and gents, what is bivariate data? Bivariate data is data with two variables, explanatory variable and response variable. There are two key words. The explanatory variable is the independent variable it is plotted on the horizontal axis. The response variable is the dependent variable it is plotted on the vertical axis. On the horizontal axis, we have breast per minute over here. Breast per minute is the independent variable. In A-level mass, we call the independent variable the explanatory variable. On the vertical axis, we've got pulse per minute. Pulse per minute depends on breast per minute. So pulse per minute is the dependent variable. In A-level mass, we call the dependent variable the response variable. What is correlation? Correlation describes the relationship between two variables. There are three different types. The first one is a positive correlation, the second one is a negative correlation, and the third one is a null correlation, or you could say zero correlation. What is causal relationship? When two variables are directly linked, we say that the two variables have a causal relationship. Use of a linear model. A linear model, or you could call it a linear equation, can be used to model a bivariate data if one of the following two conditions are satisfied. You could have a strong perfect positive correlation, or you could have strong, perfect negative correlation. What is a regression line? A regression line is a line of best fit. A regression line of y on x is of the form y equal ax plus b, where a and b are constants. If it's y on x, y has to be the subject, as you can see over here. Now, y is the dependent variable, so we call the dependent variable the response variable. X is the independent variable, we call the independent variable the explanatory variable. The regression line of Y on X can only be used to estimate Y given X and not X given Y. So that is a very important fact. Interpolation versus extrapolation in correlation. Consider Y equal 5X plus 2. This is a linear model or you could say linear equation. X is between 1 and 10 inclusive. If x is equal to, we can estimate y, so y will equal 5 times 2 plus 2, which is 12. Now, x equal 2 is in this interval, so we call y equal 12 an interpolated value. We've used an x value within this interval. An interpolated value is reliable. So, suppose now we take x equal 20. If we substitute x equal 20, we get y equal 5 times 20 plus 2, which is 102. Now, x equal 20 is not in this interval, so y equal 102 is an extrapolated value. Extrapolated values are unreliable. So that there, ladies and gents, is a summary of Chapter 4 Correlation. In my next video, I'll be looking at Chapter 4 Correlation Part 2. I'll be covering mixed exam questions on Chapter 4 Correlation. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.